I'm a Windrush generation because my parents came over in the early 50s. So in them days, you had to be successful educationally wise or as a black guy or a Caribbean guy could end up on the wrong side of the law. So my parents, in their infinite way, wanted me to understand where they came from. So they shipped me to Jamaica. I did my early schooling there. And then after I passed my 11 plus, then came back here to England and did my A-levels. And I did my masters. Then I had a first job opportunity for a company called Westinghouse. I was a designer. So I worked for that business for a number of years. People could see within the business that I was very ambitious and wanted to succeed. The thing was always back of my mind was, was ambition. So I always pushed myself further. I never accepted my level. From Westinghouse, I went to work for a company called Allsteel. And Allsteel were part of BTR Nilex, which is the BTR group. Again, my ambition was still shining through. So I ended up being the European CEO. So as a, as a black guy, color didn't mean anything to me. Being pretty smart and tenacious was where, where I was coming from. And then I ended up where I am now. We were always a family business. My daughter, Naomi, she's here. My niece, Michelle, and my goddaughter, Tiana. They have senior roles within the business, from HR to customer services to sales. I will say to you, the business has never run better. There's nothing better when you have your family around you. Any business is all about ideas. Bearing in mind, you look at United Kingdom, we're not, we're not exactly a manufacturing country anymore. We're, we're a country full of ideas, inspirational ideas. Bain gives a really different perspective because the Bain tends to be international. And when you manage to put that into a mix, so that's when you collaborate. To me, that's got to be a bonus to everybody. Green Park especially has made it their kind of genre to be different. A little bit like what my business is, is to be different, you know, in, in a very congested pack. We, as people of colour, feel that we are sometimes second-class citizens. And whether or not I can be the boss is a mindset we have to overcome. Green Park is very important to the picture. If you think about Raj especially as being a champion, a hero which has not been recognised, when we talk about inclusion and, and fame, and when I say inclusion, I mean no matter um, if you're white, black, uh, or whatever colour, Raj is always there for the, for the downtrodden man. So why not have a board which reflects my customers? And that's where, where we've got to keep the fight, the good fight, to push people up. But we've still got to get our own people to understand that they, they are worth a lot, lot more within their businesses.